Hi everyone, welcome to day 7 of Glammas. In today's video, I'm going to be trying to tint my own eyebrows at home. My name is Giselle, I also go by Sting Face Glam, and on this channel I do a bunch of lifestyle content from beauty, fashion, travel, food, and more. I'm going to be bringing you 12 videos in the month of December, and I dubbed this Glam Miss, and this is day 7 of the Glam Miss. I'm really big on trying things at home and seeing if I can do them or if I really do need to hire a professional to do them, and I figured why not try to tint my own eyebrows at home. I've seen a bunch of TikToks and YouTube videos with people trying out eyebrow tinting at home, so I figured it shouldn't be that difficult, right? I am a little nervous that my brows will end up looking like a big old block. Let's keep our fingers crossed and let's jump into the tryout. So I'm going to be using this product. This is just for men's. It's a hair dye for their beards and I got it in the medium brown. I didn't want to get it too dark because I wasn't sure if it was going to be really, really obvious that my eyebrows were tinted. Now I know we're really far away so you can't necessarily see my brows as much but you can see that they're not very sparse anymore. Hallelujah. I've been growing up my brows for the past three, four months. If I can tint my eyebrows and get them to look thick and full without having to fill them in, then I'm a happy gal. I'm gonna zoom y'all in so you can see what we're working with here and then we're gonna start the process. I am so nervous. I really hope this doesn't go bad because I need to go do some food shopping and if my brows look crazy, so as you can see, for the most part, they're not really too sparse anymore. As you can see, there is some sparseness right over here by the tail end on this side. And then there's a little bit of a gap right here, some sparseness over here, and then of course by the tail end. But for the most part, it is pretty full. We're still going to give this a try anyways. This product comes with a color base, a color developer, brush, a, I guess, where you would apply this. But I'm not going to be using this to apply. I'm going to be using a small angled brush to apply the actual product to my brows because this is way too thick. So on the back of these tubes it does say the color base and color developer are to be mixed in equal proportions in an enclosed plastic tray. Once mixed and used discard any unused mixture and rinse tray to prepare for next use. Since we're just doing my brows I don't need too much of this. It's crazy because on the outside of this it says this product must not be used for dyeing eyelashes or eyebrows to do so may cause blindness. You need to be careful when you watch these like do it yourself at home videos because you never know what kind of of product you are putting near your face that you shouldn't be. Normally I would suggest that you not do something like this especially if there is a caution sign on the outside that says do not do what you're about to do. Do it at your own risk. So these are my two lines. This is the color base, the color developer. I'm going to mix it with the back end of this Nice! So the brush that I had that I was using to mix this fell and landed on my shirt and now my shirt is dyed. Bruh. I'm using, like I said, a small angled brush to apply. my brows up and I'm going to just clean up especially this side because the side is looking a little crazy so I'm just going to clean up my finger I am going to wait about 10 minutes I've cleaned up the edges you can see this brow is already starting to get darker I'll come back and show you what my brows are looking like it's been a little bit more than 10 minutes so I'm going to wipe this off they look insane right now I really hope they're not this dark I know the dye always looks darker than what they generally will look like moment of truth start with this one because I started with this brow first Look at this difference. It gave me actual coverage on my brow. Wow. And this looks so natural too. It doesn't look as dark obviously as this. I'm living actually. I'm living for the way this looks. This is the other one so I can compare. This 
this is what my brows look like after I removed all of the product. As you can see, this kind of looks like it's going straight down. I wish I would have done a little bit more product over here to make it look a little bit more natural. It's really giving me angled brow here. This one looks amazing. This one could use some work. This is actually my trouble brow anyways. They're supposed to be sisters, not twins. So that's my do-it-yourself eyebrow tinting at home. Surprisingly, aside from this one botched brow, they don't look so bad. And I'm really glad they didn't come out too boxy. I know this one came out really diagonal, but I can always just fill that in with a little bit of a eyebrow pencil before I dip. With that said, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like videos like this, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below of any DIY things that you think I should do at home. I've done waxing DIYs. I've done eyebrow tinting DIYs. I've done an eyebrow lamination DIY. I think my next one's going to be a lash lift. I'm a little nervous about that one because, you know, blindness is a real thing. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can catch the rest of the Glamis videos as well as any of my other videos coming up after Glamis is over. Hit the bell next door so you're notified when I drop my next video. I know some people have said that they've had issues with YouTube notifying them. I have no control over that, but try to keep checking back on my page if your notifications aren't going through. I appreciate all the support and love that you guys have given me throughout this past year. I feel super blessed that I have such a supportive amount of people just watching this channel. Follow me on my other social medias. I will leave them on the screen as well as linked down below in the description box. As always, thank you for watching this video, for watching any of my videos, and I will see you all on the next one. Bye!